At this recruitment office in Mid City, we met several young men as they start their journey in the armed forces, like Arlen Kazair from New Orleans, following in his family's footsteps. What brings you here today? Uh, let's see about signing up. The recently turned 18 year old said the shootings at a Tennessee joint recruiting station and nearby Navy Operational Support Center, where the four Marines were killed and the sailor was wounded, didn't deter him from signing up. Rather, confirm his decision to join. What happened in Tennessee, that's stupid. Like, why, why would you kill innocent people? It just makes no sense. While local recruitment offices were not allowed to talk security in Texas, a recruitment officer there did. We're essentially a, a lone target out here, and it's easy for us to be targeted by a, whether it's um, you know, anybody who's against the military or radicalists, so um, it's easy for them to attack us. Experts say these offices have become easy targets for terrorists because they are everywhere in shopping centers, opposed to driving to some military base where they will be met by armed guards at the gate. Now at Jackson Barracks in the Lower Nine and at Belchase Naval Air Station, they don't reveal their security procedures either for obvious reasons, but both installations said they are well protected 24-7. Adriana?